Hello, everyone, Randy here, and today we're going to be checking out something new. That's right, we got the HTC Vive. We're going to be unboxing this and setting this up here. Um, hopefully, this will uh, work with my computer. We'll uh, find out here. But let's uh, get uh, started by uh, taking a look at what's in the box here. Okay, so let's open the box here. Like I said, this is the HTC Vive. Get started. Set up. Yeah, we'll probably have to read that with this uh, in this case. So we've got uh, two uh, controllers. Kind of interesting looking uh, controllers if you ask me. I'm assuming there's a uh, reason for the uh, way they're designed. Oh uh, yes, okay, so here's the uh, sensors. This is one thing I'm going to figure out where I'm going to set these up in the room. I've got some ideas. I'm thinking one probably set up behind the camera here and then one probably over in this corner that'll give us roughly I don't know probably a 10 by 8 foot area or so I'm thinking uh, my understanding I believe it lists it here somewhere ah yes here's the room size uh, room size uh, minimum 6 foot by 6 foot max size 16 foot so um, it says 16 foot between the bases, so I don't know if that's 16 by 16 or... Gotta be smaller than 16 by 16 because it's the way it makes it sound. It says 16 foot between the bases. Okay, that's cable box probably. So here's the headset itself. and Oh boy, looks like all the cables that go with it. Ah, yeah, so here we go. That's a uh, warning. Warning, we don't need no stinking warning. So there's... The HTC Vive headset. And the uh, long cable that goes with it here. So what do we have here? We got USB, HDMI, and I'm assuming that's probably power there. Ah yes, DCN, they're labeled there, okay. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is probably sound. So I don't know if there's a sound cable that comes with this as well. Okay, good to know. And what do we got for cables? Oh, yeah, okay. So here's the probably the breakout box itself. Now, with having HDMI, I'm assuming the sound can go through the HDMI as well. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Some sort of sticky pad. I uh, don't know what that's for yet. Directions. Don't need those. Oh, power adapter. I can unbox that later. What else do we got? Oh, this is uh, additional for the uh, fate for the mask there, I guess. And there is something else in here yet. Uh, looks like a USB cable. And a cleaning cloth. Okay. Anything else? Don't know what that is. Okay, this box feels rather heavy yet. Is there something else in here? Oh, there is. Okay, there's more goodies underneath. Oh, wow. Let me uh, get that out of the way. So what do we got here now? Uh, okay, looks like a bunch of mounting options for the sensors. Another power adapter, another power adapter. Oh, I'm betting this is probably cable for the sensors. No, this is probably an audio cable, okay. Wow, a lot of adapters here, folks. This is going to be interesting. Uh, this looks like another USB adapter. What is it? Oh, this is probably a charging adapter, I bet. Yep, probably another charging adapter. Another plug adapter. My goodness. A lot of adapters here, folks. Wow. So anyway, let's uh, get this uh, set up here on the uh, computer. I think I got everything out. doesn't feel like there's anything else in that one. And uh, like I said, hopefully this will work on my computer here. Um, the way they make it sound, the minimum requirement is a NVIDIA GTX 1060. Well, I have a 980, so that's one generation late or one generation earlier. However, I I don't know the specs. I haven't taken the time to look, but I would warrant the 980 is probably more powerful than the 1060, or at least real close to it. 
Um, I have performed the uh, Steam VR performance test and uh, my system more than exceeds the uh, requirements. So hopefully this will work. Let's uh, get started setting it up. Okay folks, so I think we got everything set up here. I got the uh, Vive headset plugged in here. Got the uh, HDMI, USB, and power for it hooked up. Also went ahead and hooked up both sensors. Got one in each corner of the room here. Uh, I just got them up on the tripods here at the moment, so there's the one. And then we got both uh, hand controllers here on. Uh, simply push the uh, little buttons there and they turn on. And you can see down in the bottom here, hopefully you can see that. Yes, you should be able to. I uh, can see the headset, both controllers and both sensors. Looks like they are ready to go, so we need to do the room setup here. Okay, pull and hold the trigger. Okay, so go stand in the middle of your area. This might be an issue because I do have the camera kind of sitting in the middle here right next to me. Maybe I'll have to move that here a moment. Okay, we move the camera. We will go stand in the middle here. Okay, looks like the monitor has been located. Actually, let me uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess that should be good. Calibrate the floor. Okay, they're both on the floor here. Let's see what's what it does. Hold the triggers as you trace the outer perimeter of available space. Okay. Okay, there we go. We got the area traced. Two point two by two point one meters. Okay, now then, just to cover the uh, setup we have here, obviously I uh, connected to my computer here. We have the uh, breakout box, or at least that's what I'm kind of calling it, uh, where the headset itself plugs into. So you got HDMI, USB, and then uh, power. So all three of those, and they are labeled there, quite simple. And then pretty much the same thing going into them, HDMI from the graphics card, USB, and power. And I don't know if I can get back behind the computer here, really. You kind of see the HDMI down there and the USB. Now the USB cable is blue, so I don't know if that means it requires USB 3.0 or not. But I do have it plugged into a 3.0 port at the moment. Uh, probably going to try it the other way around, see if it'll do 2.0, because that would be preferable for my computer. A little uh, lacking on the uh, 3.0 port ports, uh, not to mention the quality of uh, 3.0 ports on this uh, computer. So yes, pretty much got everything set up. Like I said, I just got them setting up on the uh, tripod there at the moment for the sensors. Going to see once maybe mounting them to the ceiling. That should uh, work pretty good. And then I think we're ready to uh, play some games here, so let's uh, give that a try.